you know, the far right, which, you know, they're hopeless anyway. They're hopelessly screwed up. They got, or the anti-abortion nut jobs, let's just put it that way. They got their asses handed to them in the recent elections. And we know this because abortion was perhaps the key issue despite what the pundits and the uh, pollsters and other people wanted to uh, con voters otherwise. So what is going on now, it's not enough for them. Well, they were asking why, and of course it was obvious why uh, they got beat so bad because we live in a pluralistic country and these anti-abortion nutters have never been the majority of the population. They're nowhere near half the population. That's never been that way. It never will be that way. But that hasn't stopped them. Now they're suing to uh, overturn. Where the hell were they? The FDA approval of what used to be called RU486. Where the hell were these people at? That pill's been used for 20 years. But they can't stand it, see? They can't. They, they can't stand it that women have freedom to control the reproduction because they're only for fucking and having babies and being homemakers. That's all they're for. And men controlling them. So now they're suing the FDA. And lots of luck doing that. They'll probably go to the Supreme Court and all this other shit. Anyway, um, Alliance Defending Freedom. Yeah, I'd like to know who bankrolls that outfit. Um, they yes, they've defended women, women only sports, but they're basically they're a crap outfit because ultimately they hate women the same as those who support the, the alleged um, gender identity movement. They're just as bad, if not worse. And they filed suit in the U.S. District Court in the Northern District of Texas on behalf of the Alliance of Hippocratic Medicine and American Association of Pro-Life Obstetrician and Gynecologists, the American College of Pediatricians, and the Christian Medical and Dental Associations and four doctors. Um, the FDA declined to comment and HHS spokesperson defended the medication as safe and effective and said that denying women access to any essential care they need is downright dangerous and extreme. Yeah, they don't care! They just want to be able to control women because all women are for us having babies. That's all they're for. And you shouldn't have been having sex if you get pregnant. That's your fault. That's your fault. The family must be preserved at all, at all costs. The 1950s family. Nuclear family. And, of course, on a little uh, sidebar there, uh, Congress had passed, isn't this something, uh, the Respect for Marriage Act, and as far as I'm concerned, I personally think that marriage does not deserve respect at all. Because it's, it's patriarchal. And for those like the LGBs that think, well, they get the right to marry whoever they want. Uh, that gives them bennies. I say, why the hell should there be bennies for marriage? Why should there be any bennies? Women, and since the vast majority are heterosexual who get married. Why the hell should women have to trade sex to get bennies? Ask yourself that. Why should they have to prostitute themselves? So no, in uh, philosophically, I am against marriage as anything. So to me, a bill that says respect for marriage, it's disrespecting women. Women's right to say no. Women's right to reject marriage. Single people's right to reject marriage. We don't need that shit. We don't need it at all. Marriage isn't necessary at all. So that's what that's that got me. And and that while at the same time, while at the same time they're approving that, uh, and that was by a filibuster-proof majority in the Senate. In the meantime, there's no movement to respect women, as in codifying abortion rights. Roe v. Wade. No, we don't have the votes there. So women are right down at the bottom of the goddamn barrel. And of course, single women, especially straight women, yes, lesbians are also near the bottom. But I'd say straight women, 
who are single are at the very bottom of the very bottom of the pole because your purpose is to be fucked and bear babies and you rejected it. You said no to men. And so you deserve no respect, no help at all if you're impoverished. So anyway, that's my rant about that. But here, the, the, the ADL or whatever it's called, or ADF, not ADL, that's the Anti-Defamation League. The Alliance Defending Freedom, the ADF, uh, they want to um, codify their religion. The FDA's approval of chemical abortion drugs has always stood on shaky legal and moral ground. And after years of evading responsibility, it's time for the government to do what's legally required. Protect the health and safety of vulnerable girls and women. They don't care about girls and women. They don't care about the health and safety of girls and women. They want them as objects to fucking have babies. That's all they're for. They don't give a shit about it. They want male control of female reproduction. Why not be honest? And hopefully this goes nowhere, but you bet your ass it's going to go back to, it's going to go to the Supreme Court eventually. But lots of luck uh, getting this approved. But they're pulling all this kind of crap all along, the, all down the line. Anyway, uh, my battery is flashing, so my battery indicator. So I guess that's it. That's enough of the rants for today.